All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here, Nick's the Power. So I think a lot of you guys saw my Instagram video yesterday um, on my Instagram story with the heart monitor hooked up to my chest. So a lot of people were asking me what's going on, am I okay, all that good stuff. So I did have a heart monitor strapped to my chest. It was an electrocardiogram, um, a five-point electrocardiogram. So I had five little uh, leads, five little sensors strapped to my chest, strapped to my sides, and one strapped to my stomach. Um, and basically what that was was to monitor my heart for any irregular you know, activity for a 24-hour span. And the reason that I had to wear that um, was because like about a week ago, maybe a little less than a week ago, I had some really bad heart palpitations. I woke up and my heart was just beating really hard and really fast and it just felt like something was you know, going wrong. So immediately what I wanted to do was go and get that checked out and make sure nothing was crazy uh, and make sure that nothing was really crazy wrong. So the first thing I did was went and got blood work done. All the blood work came back normal. My blood pressure was fine. Um, my pulse was, it was a little fast, but for the most part that was fine as well. Um, so my blood pressure, my heart rate, that stuff was good. The blood work came back good, so that was good. Um, so they still didn't really know what caused the, the palpitations. And the, and the reason why this is so weird and really freaked me out is because one, I'm so young. And two, the usual culprit for this sort of thing with someone that's a younger guy is like an energy drink, a lot of caffeine, a lot of stimulants. Um, but the weird thing is the day that I had these palpitations, I woke up, um, I hadn't even had my coffee yet. I just got out of bed and I just started having these palpitations and it was just really weird. I hadn't had any coffee, I hadn't had any pre-workout, I hadn't had any of that stuff for at least 24 hours. Um, so that was the weird part of the whole thing. I hadn't really had any stimulants or any caffeine at all that day. Um, to cause the palpitation. So I'm waiting on the results of my heart monitor to come back. So basically they're going to look at the 24 hours of heart activity and tell me what's going on with that. And, and then after that, next week I have an echocardiogram, which is basically like a sonogram that they do like when you have a baby and they give you the image of the baby by rubbing the little thing on your stomach. It's basically the same thing, but for your heart. So they're going to do that of my heart. That's called an echocardiogram. Um, so hopefully after the next couple of weeks, I'll know exactly what's going on and hopefully it's nothing uh, or at least nothing serious and I can figure out what's causing it. So my advice to you guys would be to lay off the pre-workout a little bit because that's, you know, even though I didn't take pre-workout on that specific day that I had these palpitations, I've been taking pre-workout nonstop for months now um, and I don't really take the break like it suggests on the bottle. Uh, the bottle of pre-workout usually suggests that you take, you know, like a two week break in between um, taking all this pre-workout. I never really do that. So that could be the culprit is all these, you know, years that I've been taking pre-workout. Uh, so my advice to you guys is to listen to your body. If you have some palpitations, you have some chest pain, maybe it's good for you to lay off the pre-workout for a couple weeks. That would be my advice, guys. So hopefully I'm all right. Hopefully I'm not going to die and hopefully I can continue to make videos for you guys. But on a positive note, I did actually graduate college this past weekend with a bachelor's of science in health science um, with a minor in psychology. So I did finally graduate college. So on a positive note, um, even if I'm dying, I at least made it through college before I died. So also my birthday is this week as well. I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers that vlog way too often. They vlog going to the gas station. They vlog going to McDonald's. So I try to only vlog like once every couple of months when I think there's something, you know, worthy of vlogging. So um, in this week alone, I graduated college. Um, I'm having, you know, these heart problems and it's my birthday. So I figured this would be, you know, my once every two month vlog. I feel like the heart palpitations, going to the hospital, graduating college and my birthday um, would all kind of be worthy of a vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you guys with some photos from my graduation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hopefully I'm alive to keep cranking out videos for you guys um, next week and the, re the rest of this week. Uh, Nick Strength and Power signing out.